We have just gone over the normal conduction pathways and, and how things happen when everything goes the way it's supposed to go. Now we're going to talk about ways that the heart overcomes difficulties, things that, that could, could possibly go wrong. Now looking at the screen, hopefully over on the left-hand side, you see some structures you're familiar with. Things like, uh, we have the SA node up here, the AV node right here, bundle of his, bundle branches, Purkinje fibers, etc. Let's pretend that the SA node dies. Something happens and it just, it will never work again. Does that mean that the heart will never beat again? Will everyone continue to look and wait for this signal from above? And if it doesn't come, they just sit there and wait until they run out of oxygen and die. Is that what happens? No, it's not. We have a backup system and this chart kind of tells the story. As it turns out, these conductive tissues are hyper competitive. The SA node is the champion. It can contract and then repolarize, reset, and contract again faster than any other cell. So as it depolarizes, it depolarizes all the other cells in the heart. They all have to repolarize. The SA node had a head start because it depolarized first and it's just naturally quick at repolarizing. Before the others can repolarize and go off on their own, the SA node goes off again, depolarizing the entire heart. But, like we said, the SA node, in our example here, the SA node is dead. So, this 60 to 100 beats per minute is not going to happen for us anymore. However, the heart will beat. The AV node is a pacemaker. It's just, it's slower than the SA node. Its intrinsic pacing rate is about 40 to 60 beats per minute. So, it will sit and wait for the SA node for about one second and at about one second or maybe two or one and a half seconds it's going to go off that would mean that the electrical signal would begin here and it would spread this way and this way simultaneously it, it would go down the Purkinje system in the normal fashion but it would go backwards and this is called retrograde conduction retrograde meaning against the grain, going backwards, it would go backwards. So your wave of contraction in the atria is now going to go up like this. It won't contribute a lot to atrial kick or to cardiac output like that. However, what's in the ventricles will be pushed forward. Now, what if the AV node was knocked out? What if it can't work anymore? Well, the bundle of Hiss has about the same pacing rate as the AV node. If the bundle of Hiss is not there anymore, the bundle branches are a little bit slower still, but they could take over. And just think if, like, if the conduction began right here, then what you would have would be, this side might be pretty normal. You'd have a conduction going up like this, but now it's got to get over here and around before this side would go off. And of course the atria wouldn't go off at all because remember we have a um, non-conductive layer between the ventricles and the atria which wouldn't allow the signal to go from the ventricles to the atria. It just wouldn't go backwards. And of course if it gets down to nothing but Purkinje network to the Purkinje fibers uh, it's, it's slower still, 20 to 40 beats per minute which is better than nothing. So again, the pacemaker, the SA node is the fastest, the most competitive conductive cell that we have. But if it fails, we do have backup systems and the lower you go on the chain, the lower their intrinsic pacing rate will be.